I'm, I'm in a class that's in an auditorium, there's still not enough seats for everyone to sit down for the first day. But it's exciting, so you, you have that, like, you have that drive. Um, so, I think, I think as long as, uh, when you get here, uh, um, you, you start, you don't, you be proactive about trying to set up that new support system. Um, that'll help you get through uh, the, first, the first semester, definitely, um, but definitely find, find that support system for me. Uh, it took a little bit of time. And I think that was the hardest part. I mean, classes are hard. Um, they're definitely, they're definitely like a lot of reading, um, and there's definitely a lot of. There's always something that you have to do. There's never, it never feels like there's any downtime uh, for you to really just relax. So um, I think, but other than that, I think there, it's definitely manageable. I wouldn't say that it's not manageable. Okay. I have a bunch of other questions for them, but I want to make sure if you have questions for the students, you get to ask those. In, uh, in terms of reading, uh, I mean, how, how much how much did each of you, how, or how much do each of you typically read a week in your class before your class? I think it depends on your major, um, and in the class, it depends on the class. But uh, one of the professors uh, told us the first day of class, if you are not prepared to read at least forty pages before each class, don't take this class, or a book per week sometimes, but um, it all depends on, on your major, and that's why you have to create those connections with other students in your class, so you can divide your reading. I wasn't used to that in community, in community college. I did everything on my own. I was in charge of my grade, and uh, I, even when group work, I will do as much as I could to get a good grade, but here you have to rely, because sometimes it's so much that you have to share your readings with someone and you have to uh, trust them that they're going to do it and they're going to give you their notes and you're going to give you them your notes. So it's just basically working on what, what you have. Yeah. Um, I definitely agree. It, it depends on your major. I have a, a friend who's doing sociology um, and she's taking her theory classes right now and it's very heavy reading. So she has to read up to like 150 pages per week, if not more. Um, but whereas I'm not taking that many classes that require reading, I'm maybe just one. I have to read about 50 pages every time I show up to class, if not less. Um, but I definitely agree with um, the dividing of the work, as well as you kind of have to learn how to skim if you're short on time. Um, for example, if you're reading an article and you didn't have time to read it the night before, you can read the the intro and the conclusion, so you at least have something in your head by the time you show up to section or to your lecture. Yeah, I think that's the difference here. Here is a uh, something that we're not used to is this extra class where you just discuss the readings. Um, so sometimes it's not just the the pages; it's what you're reading. Are you reading um, like intense stuff where it takes you? Three, three times reading one paragraph to like really get what somebody's saying or what they were writing. You know, these are these are doctoral things. You know, they're they're not they're studies. They're not just magazine articles. They're not easy readings. And so I think that's um, the 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 need to not just read but to comprehend. I think is is one of the things when you go to class, you have to be prepared to discuss it um, intelligently. Um, and to and so a lot of it is when you go to these classes. A lot of grading is not just you being there or turning in an assignment. It's how much did you contribute to the discussion, um, and so that's I think what's for me that's been a little bit more difficult. It's not just the just the amount of reading, but like the the level of reading uh, of what you're reading. So what's your favorite thing about Cal, and what's the worst thing for you? About? For me, uh, the favorite thing is you have so many resources. You have for anything that you're going through. You will have a support group, or you will have someone to help, but you have to learn how to ask for help. And whoever you ask, they're going to know who to send. If they don't know the answer, they're going to uh, direct you to where you want you to be. Um, and for me, the worst thing is commuting. I live in, uh, in uh, American Canyon by Napa. So uh, sometimes, some mornings, it's one and a half hour, uh, and I come five days a week. So it's hard. But I can do it. I mean, I'm almost done. <laughs> um, I guess I'll start with the words. I, I would say would be um, trying to 